They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that, but I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. Have you taken a bullet ever? <laughs> don't ask me when, where, and all that. All I can show you is this. Okay, there's the difference. Okay. Um, if you're comfortable, just giving the listeners some perspective. Uh huh. Uh, it's a very. It sounds like a stupid question, but I'm genuinely curious yeah. about. What does a bullet like feel like according to you? Yeah, believe me. First couple of seconds, you don't feel anything, है ना? But the amount of the pressure of the blood, and you realize only when you see it actually happening. Small pore, bullet, the entrance and exit. Entry and exit are two different things. Entry hole will be very small, but when you turn the guy and see at the back, you see a hell lot of thing. Your interest in everything, and I is out. Uh, you see, there is a barrel and a weapon, and there are a lot of grooves. Thousand of times it rotates with that muzzle velocity, and when it leaves the barrel, when it enters and penetrates into the body, and it goes like this, and the spiral mm. does thing, it take out every damn thing. The pressure of the blood is actually unimaginable. It goes up to feet, you know, four five feet. It is that much, you know. It takes time to comprehend. Even it takes couple of seconds or minutes, I would say, to you know come to that senses where you start feeling pain. Couple of minutes, couple of seconds, I say. Yeah. Okay. Immediately, it doesn't happen. Ki you got it and you feel a pain. It happens momentary, but then it takes some time mm. to realize ki what actually has happened. I've seen an officer from special forces only. I met him a day prior. I was in core headquarter, a 15 core, and I met him day prior. He said, "Ki sir, I've completed my probation and I'm going back. I'll not take name for obvious purpose." And the next day, he was casualty in one of the operations. Pot shot at the point blank range was given at that officer. There was nothing overhead. Nothing means absolutely nothing. When I saw that guy and I could see nothing overhead, it was, a, you know, I can't explain what kind of feeling it had. Because the difficult part, no body had to go back home, you know. And generally, parents say, "I want to see the face for the last time." But how do you show 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 the face? There is no face only. I know what drill we had done there after you know that is the kind of the damage you know, a weapon can do a bullet can do mm. it was a burst round at a point blank range and everything got washed away is it i mean again this is public assumption yeah. that uh, because an ak47 is easy to use mm. as compared to other <laughs> weapons that is the choice of weapons of insurgents of terrorists is that true ah uh, yes it has got good lethal effect easy to carry very less apna technical snacks so there are multiple reasons the ak47 is definitely a good weapon it is not only about the militants the rr units also this is the preferred weapon ak47 ak56 definitely any time given a choice one will go for it it's a good weapon um but at the same time when we i keep telling you know people it is always the man behind the machine you give the best of the weapon to any other guy whether it is an rr or special forces infantry unit it is always the man behind the machine hmm. the guy is fit you know he will do wonders with any kind of the weapon what is this relationship between is is it just about being like a good shot mm. is it about being physically strong also like what do you mean like you know when they say that okay someone was skilled in using weapons mm. what does that mean for like an average user okay see there are multiple things somebody and i just want to handle weapon only for the you know uh, you want to get into some competition coming to the operational part training is same for everyone Mm. and everyone goes through whether it is a jawan or an officer everybody is put through the same uh, paces you know but somebody has got keen interest he knows ki you na know, this is the weapon which is going to you know save my life or it is going to you know give me results when required so everybody has got a different bent of mind mm. somebody takes it very seriously whether it is weapon holding the breathing technique you know taking a aim they take it damn seri- serious it is nothing more uh, less than meditation or the ritual for them and few people they just carry as a weapon like it is something like you know you must have seen apna people from polis or other weapon the way they carry weapon but theek hai you see again on the contrary an army guy carrying a weapon there is a difference hmm. you know police might uh, because of the job profile they fire only for you know to cause some kind of uh, you know sensitiveness in the environment but when army they fire they fire it for the lethal effect and it is always up to the man you know the man who takes it very sincerely goes for his training and do it with the shiddat he will always do wonder with the weapon otherwise you know you are just holding a weapon it is nothing more or less than a danda believe me it is just a stick you are holding was there any favorite weapon of your choice like which you yeah i always say and you know, my mind and my heart have been my favorite <laughs> never uh, got me wrong 
any decision mm. which i taken i had never applied my head first the heart mm. like one example i had given you that incident where i thought you know this guy deserves a second chance i went by my heart and it was one of the best decision i have taken in my life mm. so heart and mind is definitely the ultimate weapon firstly it is indigenous you know something which i had made myself i'm working consciously upon it and improving that version day by day and life long till the time i close my eyes it is going to stay with me mm. baki jitne weapon i you know it will come in the market you import export today and there is some other version day after and some other weapon will come but this is pure indigenous it is never going to go out of the market it always stays with me and i am damn confident about this weapon thank you for watching this clip if you want to learn more about this topic we've curated a playlist just for you and here's a link to the whole episode